have um, Owen Smith and Jeffrey Robinson, please? Thank you, Chair. Thank you for coming. Delighted to be here. It feels as though appearing in front of a parliamentary version of the Dragon's Den. You mm. are. <laughs> Uh, and our, and our, our very straightforward plea is for uh, a debate on the support for infected and bereaved families uh, as a result of um, treatment with contaminated blood products, NHS blood products, during the 1970s and 1980s. And we would be calling for a substantive motion to be debated on the floor of the House, the substantive motion being that the government should implement in full uh, the findings of the Archer inquiry, which was a non-statutory uh, public inquiry that was conducted uh, in 2007 and 2008, reporting in February of last year, looking into this uh, very long-running issue. Uh, the background to this is that there were around 4,500 people infected in, um, across the UK in the 70s and 80s as a result of being treated with clotting agents. These were principally haemophiliacs. Um, approximately 1,500 of those people have died subsequently as a result of either HIV or hepatitis C uh, or liver cancer, all is directly attributable to the blood products. Um, and uh, the very or, or what has happened thus far is that the government has uh, not admitted uh, or accepted any culpability or liability for that. However, various funds have been established to make ex gratia payments to those people. We've, but, we've, had, we've had a number of letters on this issue, Indeed. and I think um, in terms of constituency campaigning, this is quite a, this is quite a strong one. Um, so uh, have you got together with other MPs from different parties? I have. have you put in for a Westminster Hall debate? No. Uh, I contacted various MPs who were interested in this issue yesterday, and I've already had over 20 MPs from right across um, party divide, all expressing an interest in this very subject. I haven't raised it yet as a subject for an adjournment debate. I do think it's such a complicated subject and such a long-running subject that a debate, a full debate on the floor of the House would be required to, to really air the, uh, the full complexities. And, and what kind of time were you thinking about? Uh, well, if our options are uh, six hours or a full day, I would suggest we would need a full day. Just um, to do it absolute yeah, justice. Yeah, yeah. yeah I think, I think the, the, the real issue here is you need it on the floor of the House because you want a substantive motion that the House Absolutely. can divide on. Mm -hmm. That's why Westminster Hall will do. Absolutely. Okay. okay. Does anybody else want to add anything? Could I just add, uh, Chair, that it really isn't a, a party political issue, it's cross parties. Yeah. I mean, blood has, uh, doesn't recognize infected blood, recognizes no political distinction whatsoever. I have a gentleman who's been coming to me for several years now, most disappointed that the previous government didn't grip it, mm. opposed the High Court ruling, which has been accepted now by the present government, and he unfortunately fears he's entering the terminal stages now following an HIV, maybe liver cancer now, he's not sure, but it really is a very sad case. So I've been following it. I don't think it has had the profile and attention in the House that it should have had. So I'm entirely in support of uh, what Owen has said, and indeed I think there will be many members right across who will take part in the debate if we can secure it. Thank you very much, Jeffrey. Yes. A draft substantive motion. Yes, well, exactly. yes I and mean, I think it would, it would be that the government should implement in full, full the um, okay. findings of the Archer, Archer inquiry. Okay. Thank you. has a part of the compensation of the central yeah. I'd, yeah. I'd add one further final point, if I may. I think there is urgency that we get uh, greater attention uh, on this issue. As Geoffrey said, uh, constituents are dying. Um, I have two constituents, one of whom has recently died, another of whom. Uh, is entering the terminal stages of disease, and I think they deserve our attention. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. And thanks for coming in.